I'm just going to play a quick uh, couple of minute video. I just want to highlight two things really. One is just drawing network diagrams and the other one is really just advocating digital libraries for yourselves. Now, as you can see on the slide here, this looks like any typical network diagram that you see in many tech companies. And if I move forward, this is just another example. You can see that they make use of these icons, which are freely available on the web. Some have deferring quality, some are high res, some are low res. And so you really need to look around to find some good quality icons. The problem is sometimes most of the diagrams don't even look like this. They have clip art, they have pictures, the resolution for some of their icons is very different. And the perspective of each of the pictures is all different. Here we can see a nice nice isometric view. They're all flowing in one direction, but not many diagrams do flow like this. And of course, you can slowly build up a library for yourself. As you can see here, there's many different icons. So you can just sort of go into your digital library, pick and choose the one that you want and dump it inside. Now, one thing I always urge companies is really to do this. So I don't see a lot of wasted time, waste of productivity. Uh, when I see people going in there and redrawing diagrams or computers over and over again. So here they can just go into their digital library, reuse what they want, and just reconfigure the network in terms of whatever diagram they need. So I'd like to show you one picture that I've just taken off of Google is on the first page. I mean, there's a network diagram like this. Now, of course, it serves its purpose, but it can be tidied up a lot neater. And once you've actually done the first part of drawing the different servers, PCs, you never have to draw them again. And you just pluck them out from your PowerPoint in your digital library and just configure it to your network topology. So we take this example here and let me show you the makeover. So here we have something a lot more beautiful looking. Here we can see the gradients being used. It's all in a nice preset isometric view. We have our desktop, our mobile PCs, our iPhones, our servers, our databases. We have reflections and shadows. And all of this is done quite quickly. All of these symbols were designed and built in PowerPoint. It's just using very basic shapes and colors. And what I tend to do is for the construction of something like this, I start off with my basic uh, PowerPoint digital library. All of these I've designed. And if I just sort of press escape for a second and go off, you can see that if I blow this up, these are all just shapes. And if I just sort of uh, ungroup them and switch off to 3D, you can see that all of these are just built from shapes. One of the other thing about network diagrams I would say though, is start off with a grid like this. It's helpful, it's useful, and the great thing is, once you get your grid, you can sort of map down your network topology as well. Let's say I just want a couple of lines here. I've just made these very grayscale. I'm just gonna highlight this in red and just make this outline a bit thicker. And let's just say that's going off to a computer and this is going off to a, a database or something. So there we have our basic network. And of course, I'm just going to uh, switch this into 3D. So now I have my basic network. So it's all lined up for me. Then, of course, if I need a computer or I need a server, I just dip into my digital library. And let's just say I'll take this one and I'll take this one. And then I just jump back, place those where I need it. So again, I don't have to spend time drawing all of these things again. And my network is all nicely lined up. And I can produce something like this very, very quickly. So you can have professional looking network diagrams that don't take very long at all. Use the grid to help you because they will help you map out your topology there. And so network diagrams made easy and also digital libraries that are very helpful, very neat. And you can have something which is very, very professional looking.